right in the forehead. Okay? If it's a friendship situation, you want to look right at the nose. And if it's romantic, you want to look at the chin or lower. Okay? Now, why is that? Well, when you look, when it's a power situation like business negotiation, and you look here above the eyes, you're showing that you have some dominance, that you have authority. Friendship, you look in the nose because it's not very aggressive, it's just more like kind of fun and laid back. So it's kind of the happy medium. When you look, romance, you look at the chin, shows like affection. It shows some sexual interest because obviously looking down, like if you're a guy and you look down at a female, you're looking at other parts beside her face. So that's kind of what scientists have found. The next part of it, so that's where you look. Oh, they have a little tron, what is that called? The train? The tram? Not the tram, the train. The tram. I forgot my damn English on this trip to Europe. Uh, if you've never been to Oslo, by the way, it's a great city. And uh, you know, you know what's funny? In California where I live, I always crack up because all the girls that are blonde, if you look at the roots of their hair, dark. Here, you have that, you you have, what what color was your hair when you were born? Like white? Yeah, like we call it toe head. Or it's white. You call it that here too? No, I've never heard it. Toe head? No. Okay, where is my cousin? Let me text her on my other phone. I got two phones. You guys know that Kevin Gates rap song? Do you know that song? No, I got two phones. One for the plug. All right, I won't say the whole thing. Um, let me text Maya. Hey Maya, what what restaurant are you at? Sorry, just wanna. <laughs> These are my raw vlogs. <clears throat> the next thing with eyes. Once you know where to look, you have to know how long to look and what pacing. The proper pacing of looking at somebody is when you are the speaker, you should look 50% of the time at them. Don't look like 100% of the time at them because you'll look like you're staring at them. And don't look at them like 20% of the time because it'll look like you're lying and hiding something. Now when you're listening, it's different. You should listen and make eye contact in the correct place 80% of the time. Are you doing that? So, yeah. yeah, I am. <laughs> no, it's because we're walking. <laughs> By the way, they say if you want to have an effective communication with somebody and you go to dinner, don't have them on the side of you. Have them sit across the table from you. So back to the interval, 50% of the time. Then, how long should you look at somebody before you look away? You want to guess? Now, in Norway, it's a little different because they're more shy here. But yeah, we don't look at people. What would you say? Four seconds. That's pretty good. Around three seconds. You should look at somebody around three, three seconds. And then mutually, since they're watching you and you're watching them, you'll look at each other for about two seconds. Pit bull. <laughs> I got pit bulls here in Norway. Okay, that was lesson number two about eye contact. By the way, go to my podcast. It's just under Ty Lopez. And I've got a more in-depth version where I'm not walking and you can just listen to the audio. Numero three. Importance of body language, reading other people. You have to understand open versus closed. And so, for the most part, if you want a quick and dirty summary of body language it's understand eyes even though other things are important i'm just giving you kind of a cheat list we go this way am i gonna get run over you're gonna run me over okay are those norwegian boots those are like horse riding boots okay the third thing you have to understand about body language is open versus closed and this this really um, extends to every area it extends to listening it extends to how the 55% of how you look it extends to the 38% of how you sound and the seven percent of your vocabulary when you're reading somebody if they're sitting across from you open is they're leaning towards you their palms are open they're nodding with their head 
that's open they're agreeing with you their um eyes are open literally of course she has sunglasses on she's like a poker player are her eyes open in terms of the pupils and obviously closed is just the opposite of that and it's amazing how few people what the hell is this person doing is she sawing something did you hear me say that what is that oh i thought you were sawing off her foot I thought she was doing a magic trick. <laughs> um, so you want to be watching for open versus closed. And then when you there's something called um, mirroring, which is, an, you ever heard of mirroring before? Uh, not in Norwegian, I got it. It means synchronizing. So if somebody's open, somebody's leaning forward, you lean forward towards them. If they're leaning back, you lean back. If they're speaking very quickly, you speak very quickly. By the way, a little side note. How many words per minute do you think is the best to speak? I have no idea. This is a little bonus point. This is bonus point number four. A hundred and for a female, about 160 words per minute is ideal with half a second interval between sentences. And for a man, a little bit faster, about 180. If you want to know what that is, um, I'll speak at 160 is about speaking like this. There's, well, actually, that was about 140. 160 is speaking like this fairly quickly, not too quickly. 180 for a man is like speaking like this pretty confidently, pretty authoritatively. And then half a second interval between sentences is like, hello, how are you doing? I'm good. Everything's great. Half a second goes by quick. So the bonus point is when you're communicating, the 38% is how you sound. You don't want to speak too slow. Some people are sleep like this. And then each sentence, they wait a six, five seconds like, hello. How are you? I mean, don't sound like that. And on the other side, I see this with public speaking. People speak way too fast. They're like, how are you doing? Uh, oh, I'm great. Good, let's go over here. And don't sound like that either. You want to sound confident, authoritative, but not aggressive. Especially here in Norway. Norway has a word called Fremningsfjentlich. Oh, no, is that Swedish? It's Norwegian too. You know what that means? That means they don't like outsiders who are too weird. Or Janteloven. Who would make Jump the logging? Jump the <laughs> we offer not a pledge. Ask your Norwegian friend what that means. Anyway, let's see. Now, another interesting study from this book. You work at a restaurant. She works at a west restaurant. Yeah, I do. But they don't do tips here very much, do they? No, no, not very much. But they did a study in America. Three types of waiters and waitresses that got the most tips. What do you think it was? What do you think the behavior got the most tips, biggest tips? Smile and be happy. Good, that was number one. Level one, more than the control, people who smiled. Now, what was level two that made even more money than just smiling people? Making them laugh? Um, maybe. But it was leaning down, like when people are sitting, lowering your body so you connect with them. What do you think number three is that made the most money? I'm not sure, actually. Yes. Celia, don't give up so easy. No, I'm not. Making them feel comfortable? Uh, think more. What else? And sincerity. Is touching so like if you lean down smile and like touch their elbow oh. or like touch their shoulder yeah. now in Norway maybe not as much no, I don't think they but in America either. this was an American study <laughs> yeah. like I said Norwegians are very shy although when they drink <laughs> when's the last time you were drunk don't lie 17, I guess, four days ago how drunk she's a Gemini Gemini's are crazy. How drunk were you? Not that drunk because I was working at the night. But you drink. <laughs> Wait, you were drunk <laughs> at night and then in the day? I mean, in the day and then at night you had to go work? No, the opposite. I mean. <laughs> oh, the next day you had to go. Ah, uh, okay. 
This way? Yeah. What's this area called? Tour guide. Carl Johan. Carl Johan. It's Carl Johan. In English, it means Carl Johan's gate. Got means street, right? Yeah. But to them, how do you say that? Carl Johan Gatta. Did I say Gatta? Is that good or bad? Gatta. No, the rest. Carl Johan Gatta. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, this is the right end So, what's the most common traditional meal of Norway? Um, By the way, click the link to go to my podcast to listen to this whole talk where I'm not walking. It's a little more easy to listen to. What? For me, it's maybe for dinner. Uh, Finn the beef. Finn the beef. It's reindeer. Yeah, reindeer. They eat reindeer in this joint. Also, rain. I remember I've had reindeer too. Venison and beef. Right? Here, let me see. Hold on. Let me see where Maya is. She's over there. How do you know? Because I Google it. No, but how do you know what store you said she's at? Oh. Probably knows kind of 23. She's at. In your hands, my fellow citizens. Just. Yeah, that's over there. Bru, bru. Three brothers. It means three brothers. Three brothers? Yeah. Bru, bru, bru. Brudra. This is is this the, this is kind of the main street, right? Where's the, where's the indoor malls though? It's so cold here. The mall here is a mall. Oh man, I feel rain. Yeah, it's been raining a lot. Bru bru. Yeah, that's the one. Is that how you say it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's the one. Bru bru. That's like German. Yeah. <laughs> they have Max like Sweden. So have you been testing your body language? Have you tried that as working at the restaurant? Different eye contacts. No, I haven't. Ah. I should try. So I brought nine people with me from my company. I always travel with lots of assistants. It makes it better. So here's Maya, my cousin, and then two of my assistants, Marna and Willa. We've been doing a talk on body language. This is my cousin Maya. This is Willa and Marna. Willa, you look very, I mean, Marna, you look very Norwegian. Even with your hair. We found out, we think she, what happened to my hair? It looks like I've been in a windstorm. <laughs> and Willa, you had braids the other day. You looked more. <laughs> this is Celia. She's a Gemini and we. she's my guide. She's my friend, but also, she didn't know she was gonna become the guide. No. <laughs> We've been doing a video on body language. Uh, so, leave a, we'll do a survey. What's your best body language trick? I gave you the 55, 38, seven trick, the three second gaze trick. Leave a comment and also click the link. Make sure you follow my email because on my email every day, I'm gonna, I lay out in simple writing and you can just print it off or you can save it on your phone, a whole bunch of tips on body language. Just go to tylopez.com and enter your email, it's free. And uh, also the podcast. Talk to you soon.